Welcome hikers and bikers to this week's episode of Trail Tracks. I'm your host, Jonathan Ingram. Today we'll be talking Lair of the Bears' new directional downhill only trail, a facelift on Farm Lane Trail in Douglas County, and why this year is your year to attend a mountain bike race. Lair of the Bear Park is a popular hiking and biking trail system west of Morrison, Colorado. Come Thursday, May 25, mountain bikers can rejoice as the trail system will have a new member, a 3.8 mile directional downhill only trail called Rutabaga Ride, an official with Jefferson County Open Space confirmed. The flow trail can be seen from State Highway 74 and the view reveals a section descending to Bear Creek with banked berms and even a jump or two. In keeping in tradition, of naming trails after things, events, and people important to the area or region, Rutabaga Ride looks like it was named after a famous Swedish farmer named John Rutabaga Johnson. Rutabaga also grows in the wild, so perhaps the crop is still lining the new trail today. However, ripping riders can rest assured their new trail has more than a turnip's name to offer. Lair the Bear currently has 4.7 miles of trail on 394 acres, and with the new addition, Rutabaga Ride will nearly double the mileage. And now onto the Gorp Report. The Farm Lane Trail, which provides access to Hidden Mesa open space in Douglas County, is now under construction as of Thursday, May 4th. Douglas County officials said in a press release, access to this regional trail will increase with a new half-mile concrete trail through Hidden Mesa open space in eastern Douglas County. With the Farm Lane Trail in Hidden Mesa open space being reconstructed for a so from a soft surface trail to an eight foot wide concrete trail. This will allow access for several user groups with easier access. Hidden Mesa's entrance off Parker Road, the Highway 83 trailhead, will be linked to the Cherry Creek Trail by the end of May. Now onto the spoke news. Mountain bike races are just flat out cool. Whether you're willing to smash pedals and get dirt and mud flung in your face or revel along the side of the route with a lawn chair, beer, and or cowbell in hand, they are fun to attend. One early season series and a very exciting race to ride in or watch, the session series is right around the corner. Another element interesting about this race series is it has five races, all two. The session series is up on Floyd Hill on a trail system called the Floyd Hill Open Space, and the run is called the Sluice, Jennifer Barber, executive director with Team Evergreen Cycling, said. What we've done is we've created a weeknight enduro event where everybody participating climbs up to the top and goes down as fast as they can, and we time them. However, those not racing the line will be able to line the sides and cheer, which in itself is exhilarating. If, you've, if you're close enough to one, you can even see the whites of the racer's eyes. People just watch these guys do some really fast things, Barbara said. It's just fun to watch how fast these people go downhill. Even though it is a smaller event, around 200 people, and, it's, and in its third year, people still have a great time, Barf, Barbara also mentioned. We've sold out every year that we've done it. We sold out the first four races this year, but we just added on the last one, race five, which is still uh, for sale. Anyone over 14 years old can come out and race. From amateurs to pros, everyone and anyone who just wants to ride their bikes and get their jump on is accepted, Barber said. If you go to watch, remember parking near the Floyd Hill open space is tight and limited. A, plan accordingly, such as carpooling. B, be prepared to hike up to the course since the event area will be closed off with booths and racers bikes. And C, be mindful of the course and riders on it. Racers will have full face helmets and gloves, elbows, knee, neck, and spine guards are highly recommended, along with no alcohol allowed before the race. And if another racer catches you, let he or she pass. 
The session series dates are as follows. Race one will be Wednesday, May 31st. Race, race two, Wednesday, June 2nd. Race three, Wednesday, June 21st. Race four, Wednesday, June 28th. And race five, Friday, June 30th, which will be at Maryland Mountain on the Hard Money Trail outside of Blackhawk. Thanks for tuning into Trail Tracks today. Check back next week for more hiking and biking news from around the Front Range. And remember, keep the rubber side down. <laughs>